Hey, I'm Corinne and I'm the founder of Speckled, the tool that helps PMs build the right thing at the right time. Today we're going to be talking about the RICE prioritization framework. What is it? What are some of the challenges of using it? And what are some of the opportunities and benefits that you can get from using it? So if you're not familiar with RICE, it is a prioritization framework, decision-making framework tool that helps product managers figure out what to build and what is the highest priority at the moment. It uses a simple formula of reach times impact times confidence all over effort. So let's first talk about some of the challenges of using a framework like race. The first thing is you're going to have to first wrangle up all of your ideas so that you can put them into this race framework. Another thing about RICE is that since it is constrained to reach impact, confidence, and effort, sometimes you may not be prioritizing for what's important to you. And another thing that can happen with these prioritization frameworks is that like any prioritization framework, some stakeholders, if they see that their thing is kind of all the way to the bottom, they might not be happy, but that's just something you gotta deal with. On the other hand, the great thing about the RICE framework is that it helps you find things that you may have overlooked. It can help you find quick wins. It can help you realize maybe that that really cool feature that you're thinking about may not really be worth your development time right now. And another thing is it just gives you a system to use. You don't have to really rely on your gut anymore. Hopefully you're not doing it in the first place, but it gives you a system that you can use consistently over and over again. And using such a system, it also gives you a good reason for saying no to some things. You can just point to where it is on the framework, where it's scored and ranked, and you could be like, this is why we are not doing this right now. Sorry. All right, so those are some of the challenges and opportunities. Let's get into how you actually use this framework. So step one is you're gonna either open up Speckled or you're gonna open up the spreadsheet program of your choice. If you're in Speckled, this is already set up for you. But if you're in a spreadsheet, you're going to want to create columns one for the item name, and then you're going to want to create columns for reach, impact, confidence, effort, and rice. And then you're going to list out all of your items and you're going to score each of them on these four things. So first up, reach. This is measured as a number usually, and it's how many people are going to be impacted by this thing that you're thinking about building. You should have a general idea of this. It doesn't have to be an exact number, just a general estimation of how many people you think might be using or impacted by this feature. Next up is impact. So this is going to be a measure of how much of an effect this item that you're ranking is going to be having on your users. It could be very subjective. You can use high as like a three, medium as a two and low as a one. If you're using a spreadsheet that way, everything's numbers and that way you can actually calculate everything at the end. For an example of something that might be low impact, maybe a bug fix that maybe only a couple people are experiencing. Medium might be a new feature that may or may not bring in new users or retain existing ones. While a high impact item might be a change to your code base that fundamentally changes how the application works. Those are just examples. There's a lot more nuance into that. And I will link to a article that helps you kind of judge what may be low impact, medium impact, high impact. Okay, so next up is effort. This is expressed as a number. And this is how long it's going to take your team to pull this off. Uh, the unit of the number is up to you. Maybe if you're a startup, this might be in hours or days. If you're a medium company, maybe this is weeks or sprints. And then maybe if you're a large company, it could be months. Uh, it's really up to you. Just make sure that you use the same unit for all of your comparisons. That way you're doing an apples to apples comparison. And finally is confidence. And this is expressed as a percentage. This is an indicator of how sure you are about your reach, impact, and effort scores. So let's give an example of an integration. Maybe your team has built 10, 20 of these before. You generally know how they go and you can estimate them pretty well. You know how many users are going to use them. You know how much of an impact it's going to have. So you're pretty confident about your estimate. So you can rank this pretty high in your confidence, let's say 90 to 100%. Meanwhile, maybe if you're doing something new, 
something that you're not sure how it's going to impact your users, how many of them it's going to impact, or you're not really exactly sure how long it's going to take, your confidence is going to be a bit lower. So for example, if you're pulling out Braintree to put in Stripe, that could be an easy process depending on your engineer's experience with doing something like that, or it could be a really time consuming process. So just, you know, use that confidence to kind of slide up and down of how sure you are about your other numbers. Okay. So you have all everything scored. You've done this for every item. Now all you have to do is calculate rice. So in that last column, just use the formula for rice, which is reach times impact times confidence all over effort. Give that a calculation, sort it, and then see what floats to the top. And then you'll be able to see maybe some surprising things about what has floated to the top. Maybe that crazy feature that you think is going to be killer is actually kind of somewhere in the middle. And maybe that little thing that you've been meaning to do for a while, maybe that's actually really important right now. So Rice gives you a really great way to see what is important based on the components of Rice reach, impact, confidence, effort. Okay, so we talked about the challenges of using a new decision-making framework the opportunities for such a framework to float good opportunities to the top, and how to score each of the four factors of rice, reach, impact, confidence, and effort. If you like this content, be sure to subscribe to our blog at getspeckled.com slash blog. Just drop your email there, and every Sunday we send out a newsletter with the top stories for PMs at small software companies. And in the meantime, happy rice prioritizing.